Morning, mate. How much is the game? Pound. Yeah. Do you have any others coming out? Oh, there's literally him free, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you was here, did I? Uh, what ones are they? Yeah. 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 Take a pound for that one. Yeah. Yeah. How much have you got? Morning, mate. How much is this? One pound? One pound? Thank you. Morning. How much is the game? Four pounds. Um, <laughs> Wouldn't take two pounds for the game? Yes. Yeah? You need to give us more forward. For this? Yes. Ten pounds. Morning. How much are these? Five pounds each, yeah. Full for it, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't spin it. The ship on front, Joe. Mm -hmm. How much are these? I'm doing them all 50p each. Okay, I'll take that one, thank you. Morning, mate. Yeah, uh, they're all. The PS4 is a ten pound. This what this PS4 is a fiver. Fiver, yeah. Mm. It's also got Assassin's Creed as well. Yeah. Another Assassin's Creed there as well. If you're interested, our new avatar. Mm. Mm. Do four for thirty five? Ah, uh, no, uh, no, it's it's forty quid, me. Yeah, Sorry. no, that's fine. Mm. I have a bag. Mm. I left my wife at home. That's left her bag at home. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. See any more you're interested in? You see any more you're interested in? We have Assassin's Creed as well. Yeah. Sorry if you missed that. And uh, Call of Duty. I'll take this one. You're clearing me out, mate. I'll take that one as well. No, no, <laughs> I don't mean to, like, in a way, I'm just... No, I'm joking, it's good. There's a five, and I'll, I'll give you the rest in coins. <laughs> Morning. How much this one, mate? Yeah, three pounds. Two pounds? Yeah, 
Tish. 25 each. 25, yeah. Right, voiceover Mitch just jumping in here quickly. Um, I did have a think about this PlayStation 3, and the reason that I've swerved it is because, obviously, it's a, a backwards compatible one, so it is worth some, some decent money, but if it was working. But the thing that put me off is, I don't know if you can see, there's like um, a crack in the case or the casing right near where the power switch is. So I tried, um, you know, clicking it back in, but it wasn't working. And the reason that I was put off by it is that the it was separated right near where the power switch was. And I thought, oh, you know, if a bit of wiring's come loose or something under there, and obviously the backwards compatible ones, they are prone to, to be damaged anyway. Um, I could have bought it for 25 quid. My, my money would have been safe, but I don't need one. I've, I've got a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 2 uh, to play my PlayStation 3, 2 and 1 games on. So that, that was uh, the thought process behind it. I'm, I'm adamant, though, that I will find one of these in the wild at some point <laughs> that I'll buy. But yeah, that was the reason for leaving it. Um, and I thought I'd just do a quick voiceover because I didn't really go over it in the uh, roundup of, of the stuff that I bought. Is the controller guy with them or is it? Pardon? Yeah. Pull this over, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. How much for the games? And how much for this on this one? Three. Three, two. Four, four pounds for both? Four. Four. Oh. Okay. This one's broken glass. Okay. Okay. And this one? Three. Six for all? Well, you said four for them already, so six, four, four, two, six, six, yes. <laughs> Papa, 
Someone is coming hurt. How much are they, sorry? Uh, How much are they? £10 each. Ten. Can I open it up and have a look? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just uh, it's got a sticker. Don't flattens, don't small off. Five pounds. Five pounds. What about? Five pounds. Yeah. 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 So if I pull it out, I'll bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'll leave it for now. Two for ten if you want to. Camera. That's the best we can do. Yeah. Ten seconds later. Can the lady bring it down with her now? First, are you sure? Ten for the two. Go on ahead, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's my last ten. Give me a shade. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with an insane uh sunday car boot sale if i do say so myself um yeah fr fr it started out as a frustrating day because basically this is like the first semi weekend where most of the other boot sales are on um and obviously the weather i think the last two weekends it had been rained off so i normally get there at about half five and you you just go straight in i got there maybe 20 to 6 something like that i was queuing up for 40 minutes to get into the boot sale. Absolutely manic, so I thought, oh, I'm, I'm never gonna get anything. Um, obviously, eventually got in, had probably one of the best days at a car boot in uh, this year anyway, at least. Um, but then, even more frustratingly, is afterwards, I got blocked in um, at the first boot sale, and I couldn't get out. It took me another 35, 40 minutes to get out, so I couldn't go to my second car boot sale, um, which is the hard standing one, because, well, I could have, but basically that one starts at nine o'clock, and like I've said before, it's a smash and grab, you know. If you ain't there from the beginning, it's very, very unlikely that you're gonna get anything good, so. And I thought, obviously, where I've had such a good day um, at the first one, I don't really need to go to the second one anyway. So, yes, we'll start with the pickups in no particular order. Um, save them ones just for a little bit towards the end, but yeah, I think I got, these oh no the first pickup of the day i actually remember it um yeah sonic generation on sorry G sonic generations on playstation 3. this is nice and complete um i've heard it's meant to be a good game i may keep it myself for now um but yeah i paid a pound for that and it trades in for six pound so it's so a really really happy with that and then i think after that i purchased three i think it was these three um Xbox controllers for £12. Now, the pink one, it wasn't working at first, um, but what I'd noticed is that in the bottom of the battery pack, there was a little bit of corrosion, so I got some uh, white wine vinegar on a cotton bud, uh, cleaned it all out, and she's powering up. Very, very um, good one to look out for, the pink ones, because they trade in for a lot more than the normal ones, um, yeah. That one's trading in for £20 voucher. Now, these two, I think this one originally had something wrong with the, uh, I think it was the right, uh, yeah, RB button, which I fixed now. Um, as you can see, this one is still pulled apart. It doesn't have a battery um, pack, a battery cover to it, but 
these are still trading for like 30 pounds. Now, one of the stores near to me, which is the Lakeside one, I believe that is like a, a corporate one. And every time I've gone there, they always discount me with uh, out the battery. But then if you go, uh, battery pack, sorry, but if you go to a franchise, they'll, they'll normally say, oh, let me see if I've got any battery packs first. So I tend to take the ones without um, covers to Lakeside because they seem to take them all the time. Maybe it's where they've got access to like head office and battery pack covers, I don't know. But um, yes, I paid £12 for all three of those. So I've obviously I'll be getting £20 for that one, uh, £30 voucher for this one. And then this one, I'm just, I've ordered some new, um, yeah, thumbsticks because this one here is a little bit, uh, yeah, come away at the sides and it's, it's not in acceptable condition. So I'm just waiting for them to turn up. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone is wondering how to get these off, basically what I do is I get a hairdryer on that, um, label at the back, I'm just trying to make it so it doesn't fall off. And then you pull it away, let me see if I can, yeah, pull it away like that. And then you get access to the pin that's in there, the screw. And then what you need uh, is one of these screwdrivers. Now I bought this uh, off of Amazon, I think it was 3 99 for the pair. I think one does an Xbox 360 and the other one does the Xbox One. So a very, very good in investment. The Xbox One controllers uh, and 360 are pretty easy to fix um, in terms of changing parts. So if it's like just a broken thumbstick or an uh, L bar, LB, RB button, they, they're very, very, and you can get them cheap. I think they're like, you know, a couple of quid off of eBay. So. I'm keeping an eye out for them all the time now because they're such an easy fix. Obviously, the, the main concern is um, stick drift. Now, what I have found is if you take these off, now I use a, a straw, I've got a metal straw. You can use compressed air in a can, but I'm very, very tight and this is a lot easier. But basically, you just blow down the sides of the, uh, what's the word, the thumb stick, and then it will, if there's any debris in there, it will clear it out. Um, and then you can get a little bit of isopropyl, I always say that wrong, isopropyl uh, in there as well, blow that through. Or again, you know, if, if you've got uh, compressed air in a can or whatever it is, um, that's just as good. And that tends to get rid of stick drift. You know, to, if, you, if it's got minor stick drift, obviously if it's like pulling all the way to, to one side, then you're screwed. But if it's just got minor stick drift, which this one did, I've done that and it's it's, it's back to normal now. And I use uh, the same website that um, CEX use, which is Test My Pad, I believe. Um, so yeah, 12 pound there, hopefully into 80 pound voucher. Um, well, more than 12 pound because I've had to pay for another bit. So, you know, call it 15, 16 pound into 80 pound voucher there. Very, very good. Um, this was probably the, the one fail of the day. Skate free. Uh, this is like a five pound trading, I think. See, it's now obviously when I've pulled it out of the thing, I've looked at it. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, there's no scratches. But somehow I've completely missed. There's a chunk missing at the top of the disc. So yeah, 50p wasted there. So that'll be going into the foul pile. Um, Avengers on the PS4. Paid two pound for that. I think it's trading in for five pound. Uh, and then, yeah, this was a good one to, uh, to get. Now, I don't know if you noticed, there was a guy looking for a bag of games uh, before me. I've bumped into this man a few times and he's actually deaf, like he can't speak his signs to people, you know, um, what's the word, tells him in, you know, with his hands how, how much uh, he, he can pay. So obviously, when I first went over there, I was like, you right, mate, you're looking through them games? And he was ignoring me because he had his hood up and I couldn't see him. But obviously he turned around, I noticed it was him, so I was like, okay, I'll just stand and wait. And then obviously he said, yeah, that, no worries. But whilst I'm looking through the bag, you can see him put like we, um, what is it? We play, we fit, and then we party down. And obviously he must not know that this one's worth money. Obviously the other two aren't. Um, but yeah, this is trading in for like 12 or 13 pound voucher. So yeah, unfortunately his loss is my gain. But yeah, one pound there into 13 pound. Really happy with that. Just Dance Free, one pound into three pounds, bread and butter one there. And then yes, onto the insane, insane, um, yeah, pickups. 
obviously, if anyone saw my video from, uh, I think it was Wednesday, probably I'll put it out that I've now got a PlayStation 5. So obviously saw all of these games. Um, I was thinking, oh, you know, how, how much is he going to be saying? And at first he said £10 each. Now, PlayStation 5, like uh, PlayStation 4, is one of them consoles where um, there's some games. I mean, you would think PlayStation 5, £10 a game, yeah, they're, they're all going to be... Um, they're all going to be worth that. I mean, which technically they probably are, but in terms of like trading and stuff like that. So um, I wasn't too sure at first what ones to grab. Obviously, all of these ones are, are very, very good. I mean, to be honest, some of these are like brand new out um, and they're like CEX are selling them for like £50 each. But yeah, we'll start with this, which is the only one without a manual, but Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, sorry, that is got a manual. One of them has not got a manual. Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, that's a £30 game in CEX. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I think that's, they're selling that for £40. Uh, Suicide Squad. That's selling that for £50. Robocop Rogue City. This is the one without the uh, manual. That's, they're selling that for £40. Uh, and then, yeah, Ghost of Toshima. Director's Cut. I think again they're selling that for like 42 pounds something like that if i wanted to buy all of those games um you're looking at over 200 pound um voucher so obviously i normally like to triple my money so if i wanted to buy all of those games i would have had to spend more than 50 pounds so i'm really really happy to to grab them at that price and actually if i wanted to you know if it, if any of these games i'm not really into them if I, if I wanted to take them to CEX for cash, I think I would get £90. So if I, I could just flip them straight away for £40 cash and, and get my money back and, and obviously profit. I'm going to go through them, see what ones uh, I want to keep for my collection, if not all. And then, yeah, uh, the other ones I can either trade in for voucher or cash and get some of my money back. But crazy, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I, d I don't know where they would have come from f to, for them to be able to sell them at that price, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But... Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Can't, can't believe it. And then what else did I get? I think I got this and this controller and one of these keyboards, uh, keyboards, calculators for £6. Uh, so yeah, this is a Casio uh, FX83GTX, all working. Uh, that trades in for £5. PlayStation 2 controller. These have actually gone up in price now. This one's in good condition as well. Um, I think they're tr trading in for £12 now. And then Xbox uh, 360 controller, just to show you that it all works. It's exciting. Unfortunately, I haven't got battery pack, but I'll, I'll take this to Lakeside as well. But yeah, all working. Um, so £6 there into, what's that, 12 17 I think these trading for like £14 now as well. So like, f what's that, like... 40, no, 17, like 30 pound voucher, something like that. So a very, very good return. And then I've got another one of uh, those calculators, keep going to say keyboard for some reason. Um, again, they traded in for five pound, I paid a pound for that. And then yeah, these two, uh, mice, mouse, these two mice, crazy. Um, originally went over there and I don't know if you could see but the boxes were soaked, saturated. When I was squeezing them, they felt like a sponge. They were so wet. Um, walked off and I could see that the A version of these are trading in at CEX for like 56 quid and you can get 40 pound cash for them. Now, she was originally saying a tenner each. Then I said, oh no, they're wet. She said 15 pound for the pair. I went to walk off and she said 10 pound for the pair. And I was when I got them out, I could feel that the cables were a bit wet. And I just thought, oh, I'm not too sure. You know, if, if they're soaked, it's, it's just a gamble, whatever. But I, I, I walked off and I Googled, you know, what would happen if you spilt water on um, a mouse? And a lot of people were saying that if, as long as they dry out, they'll be okay. And obviously when I opened it up, I could see that it was in a, this bag. So I was thinking maybe if, um, you know, that's been in the bag and it's just the cable that's wet, then it should be okay. But basically, yes, yeah, a swift point uh, Z2 gaming mouse and if that goes back on there somehow but yeah there's the a version of these so a, a trading in for like 40 pound cash i can't find the b version on the, the app for some reason so uh when i take it in my my thinking is if i can get 30 pound cash 
for each of those, that will basically pay for this day. But by the way, as well, sorry, I have tested them and that they're all working. Obviously, these are the this is the box down here. It's just yeah, soaking. I don't know what they must have just been left out in the rain or something, but like I say, I tested them, all working. They're, they're very, very high tech to be honest. I mean, they've got like a, a, you can't see there, but when you turn it on, there's like a screen under there and you can set obviously all your things. And I've got like some other bits over there to go with it that you can add on for levers and stuff like that for uh, efficient gaming, should we say, rather than having to click all different um, buttons. So yeah, 10 pound there, hopefully into about 60 to 80 pound cash from CEX, which will, fingers crossed, pay for all of this but yeah i think i spent i think i spent close to 80 pound but obviously the way i'm looking at it if i can get 60 pound cash for that i'll get to keep them games for free and then all of that there is trading in once i fix those controllers is for trading in for like 100 120 pound maybe even more than that something like that so insane day at the boot sale very very happy with it obviously it's like the stars have aligned for me to um Obviously, I've got my PlayStation 5 and then I've just gone out and bought a load of games for cheap for it to, to play as well. So, yeah, it's not very, very much uh, retro rummage. It's more <laughs> current rummage at the minute with obviously all of the Xbox Ones and the uh, PlayStation 5s and whatnot. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Um, let me know in the comments if there was anything I missed. I'm sure there may have been in some of those bags of games that I was going through. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.